in front of our exhibit area on Lincoln's vanguard for racial justice. I would say that uh, one of the reasons it ties into Black History Month is, to me, Black History Month is a celebration of the accomplishments of the African American community. 52 weeks out of the year, we should be celebrating the importance of the people, of those personalities that were there, sort of on the front lines. In fact, they were on the front lines with Abraham Lincoln, whether it was the Underground Railroad, whether it was Sojourner Truth who met Abraham Lincoln in the White House, Frederick Douglass met Abraham Lincoln in the White House, uh, Douglass inspired Lincoln. In fact, one of the things I think about Frederick Douglass is that he's calling across the ages in that his ideas that were relevant uh, to 19th century Americans are still relevant to us today. Most people are not aware of the fact that he was adamant about women's rights. The fact that day Douglas died in 1895, he was returning home from a women's rights rally. Now, he wasn't alive when they gained the federal right to vote, but it was the work of Douglas. But yet people don't think about that. After, after the Civil War and slavery was abolished, Douglas didn't stop there. He wanted, he wanted equality, he wanted a better life for all people. And so, because all of these personalities that we think of, historical personalities, African-American personalities, because they are so important, in a sense, Black History Month calls us to celebrate, to revisit their accomplishments. But yet, we should be doing that 52 weeks out of the year. It was in 1915 that Carter G. Winston, who is considered the father of African American History Month, came to Chicago, Illinois. It was there that the life and legacy of President Abraham Lincoln was being celebrated in the Chicago Coliseum and the 50th anniversary of the end of slavery. Woodson, along with four others, William B. Hargrove, James E. Stantz, A.L. Jackson, and George Cleveland Hall, brought together the idea for the Association of the Study of Negro Life and History. A month later, on September 19, 1915, the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History had formed its mission and became an official association. In 1926, Woodson went on to found Negro History Week during the second week of February. He selected the second week of February commemorating two important birthdays, that of President Abraham Lincoln on February 12th and that of Frederick Douglass on February 14th. It is important to note now, in 2015, at the mark of the 100th anniversary of Black History Month, the ideal that Carter G. Woodson originally espoused, that African American history and the significant contributions of African Americans throughout society should be recognized and a part of our communal and ongoing history dialogue. It is in that same spirit of dialogue, community, and diversity that we commemorate the 100th anniversary of Black History Month. <laughs>